Did you know that 97% of all land in the United States is rural? Pasco County, Florida, a bedroom community of Tampa, falls into this category. Life is simpler down its old dirt roads and for those that live off the land. But the Sunshine State is growing more than twice as fast as many other states in the South. The infrastructure needs are enormous. But first things first. And that's one thing you don't always see. That's power and it's electricity. So the project we're on now, we're rebuilding five 69 kV circuit lines, one 115, and then we're adding an additional 230,000 volt line as well. You have to remove the old structures, you have to install new conductors, and in the process of that, there's a lot of distribution underbuild that's down below that you also have to deal with and a lot of different challenges. We will be working on a double circuit transmission pole. It's 85 feet out of the ground on a 69 kV line. So today we will we'll stack the pole, jack the pole. We'll be able to see cranes working, poles coming into place, and how the system of it going together works. Today our crew will be setting up and we'll be framing the steel pole, but then we'll also be stacking the steel pole, and then we have some hydraulic jacks we'll put on it, we'll jack it together. But going into a project that suddenly changes from de-energized to energized, it takes a lot of safety and communication. It was originally scoped to do it de-energized, and there was a sequence already set in place to do that. Not long after we started the project, we started realizing that that capability was not going to be possible. We had to take a step back, resequence the whole project. With the help of Service Electric, you have to have additional manpower, special skill sets, but we were able to work through it and work through the challenges with no issues. Our safety program is actually called the capacity model. Employees are our, probably our most valuable asset that we have, and so we do whatever we have to do to protect them. Even if something happens, something goes wrong, you put enough capacity in there, you do fail, you fail safely as we call it. I'd probably say the most challenging part of it is we were starting in a new section of the job and we were changing out the H structures and they were energized and we were installing new mono poles. Not with the H structures, we had been doing old wood poles and what have you and they were all vertical. Well now we're taking horizontal construction. We are using our hot arms, our robo arms and we're rolling everything vertical and rolling it energized. So it was a challenge. It's an adrenaline rush. I enjoy it. I, I enjoy heights. I enjoy new challenges, new tasks. Climbing the pole or working a bucket, high or low. Every day is a challenge. Every day is something different. You never do the same thing twice, even if it's the same job. So being up in the air that high is exhilarating. It's awesome. It's a whole different world up there. It's something you don't get to experience on the ground. So it's a lot of fun. There's times that get a little scary, but for the most part, it's a good time. The crack crew of NECA IBEW linemen and women are about halfway complete with this job, about 15 miles to go. Local 222 is a statewide local in Florida. I've been a member for over 50 years in the IBEW, and we've had a, got a good rapport with, with the business agent. We've got a lot of really good people that work for us, not only here in Florida, but all over the service electric territory. There's always something new, always. I mean, there's always the, you know, got to climb a pole, you got to go up in a buck. There's always what we've always done, but there's always something new coming up that we want to learn and, and make sure that our members have the opportunity to be on top of. Pride to that, you know, here I am doing something that not everybody does and not everybody can do. I'm trying, are you giving back to the community? You know, whether you're going out, turning somebody's lights on or just, just being there for them and helping them through a tough situation. For Electric TV in Pasco County, Florida, I'm Erica McClarity.